inspired and I have another patriotic craft for you. It's super cute, so you're gonna wanna come in, say hi, let me know where you're from, um, and spend some time with me in the craft room. So as you're hopping on, say hi. Let me go in here so I can post, because I know you ladies are gonna ask me about this shirt. <laughs> I think even looking at it, it's kinda, it's cool. I love it. Hey Dana, how are you? Okay, let me get on here and put my little, um, Oops, wrong one. Wrong one. Hey, everybody's popping on. I appreciate it. We are live. We're gonna do another patriotic craft. This one is going to be, I mean, if you have the supplies, you might be able to just take care of it um, and do it for this weekend if you have like a barbecue coming up. Um, otherwise, um, otherwise, save it for 4th of July. So, hey, Janet and Jackie, I'm good. Today's a good day. Um, everything's going well, getting things done. Hey, Colleen. So, again, as you're hopping on, say hi. And um, let me get this pinned. Hey, Kathy. There we go. So the pin post is where you can find everything Be Inspired. You can find the blog, you can find the shirts, you can find um, links to our communities. Um, you can not hear my dog barking. <laughs> Mia. <laughs> okay, Mel's gonna take care of her, good. All right, hey Peggy. All right, so who's ready for a patriotic craft? I'm gonna give you a sneak peek so you can see. Um, but we're gonna be making these cute napkin holders. And I'm gonna show you how to make these. Aren't these adorable? Um, and super, super inexpensive, and you can make as many as you want. Um, napkin rings are not cheap. You can, I'll give you some alternatives on supplies if you don't have them in your craft stash. Thanks, Tammy. Tammy, welcome. Tammy is new here. Tammy, that link post will take you. This is our top seller. This is a cutie. Um, so, and now it comes in black, which is very slimming. <laughs> I love it. But I will tell you, ladies, these are true to size. This is a large and it, it fits like a little, maybe not as loose as I'm used to, but I have to say it does stretch out after a little bit and it, and it looks flattering. So, um, just, there's a, a thing on there for measurements. So, hey, Hannah. Okay. Hannah loves it too. Good. All right, so what you're gonna need as far as supplies is you're gonna need, again, material. That's what you're gonna need. If you have some in your craft stash, go check that out. I got these, and I wanna say I probably got these from last year at, um, it looks like a Hobby Lobby tag, and it was only $2.50. You know how in the back they have like the totes and the uh, aprons and hats and things like that? That's where I found the bandana. So I got a red one and a blue one. Thank you for sprinkling, spreading the honey. Thank you. Um, and then I got this one as well. So this one is um, a bandana, but it was like a flag. So my suggestion, I did mine with two different types of fabric. So I like that look. You can do what works for you if you wanna do the same Fabric, um, you can do that too. Okay, so material, you're gonna need material. Then what you're gonna need is you're going to need some heat and bond. So if you're not familiar with heat and bond, we worked with it, we've done a couple crafts with it, but heat and bond, you can find it on Amazon, you can find it on um, Joann's, uh, and it's fairly inexpensive. Ultra Hold is the right one, the, the light, is for something else. I think the light is if you're washing it or something. I don't remember. There's two brands, like a hole and a light, and we're just doing the hole, the red pack. Thanks for spreading, lots of you spreading the honey, yay! Um, so you'll need a pack of that, fairly inexpensive, and you get a lot of it. You're going to need a roll. This is a roll from Paper Towels, but if you don't have a roll or you don't want it, you want to make these maybe a little sturdier, a couple options are 
old um, napkin rings that you might have gotten as Goodwill. Uh, we actually made napkin rings for Easter last year. That's on the blog from Clay. You can do that as well. Um, you can do the shower rings from Dollar Tree, except the shower rings, yeah, that's, they're a little wider that I, I mean, they're okay. And I would just put a few of them together so it gives you that, that stronger base, but that's another option. So like I said, use your creativity. Just take what I'm showing you and run with it. Oh, thank you, Gladys. It is in the market. It really pops on the black. It comes in other colors, but I really believe it pops in the back. In the black, back, in the black. <laughs> hey, Karen. Yes, the Dawn, so the clay napkin rings is real simple to do. You just need air dry clay, or you can use um, a regular clay and put it in the oven, and it made it really cute. Um, okay, then I got these from Dollar Tree. Okay, so like I said, the bandana was $2.50. You can make lots. Thanks for the hearts and the stars, guys. You guys are so sweet. Um, and then this was a dollar from Dollar Tree. Lots of cute ones in here. And they have like the little sparklies and all that. This I got this year. Um, and then you need something to cover your napkins. So if you're using something that doesn't need it, like the clay or whatever, you can paint it. Um, cardboard, I tend to not like to paint because it's just going to get all crazy. Oh, thanks, Dawn. Um, so I'm going to use some burlap, but you can also use jute. So I'm going to give you that option. Oh, we carry them in the market. <laughs> I love that. Patriotic with all the heart. Tell me, I mean, I know it's Memorial Day. So like I said, if you have this in your stash and you're having family over, I think these are going to look super cute um, on your table. Most of, I, I always see like barbecues or you know potlucks and things like that so these are super cute super inexpensive you can make them for as many people as you're having over um and they're just fun and to be honest a lot of my seasonal like something like this is not necessarily something i may keep for next year i try to um but by using the cardboard sometimes it doesn't last as long as maybe something more sturdier so keep that in mind hey deborah okay so let's get started <laughs> i got my iron on all right. Um, I did invest. I told the ladies in the club, we did a project. When did we do a project? We did a project Monday. And I did invest in a low temp uh, heat gun. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about it and from other people. And it's supposed to be better, when, especially when you're working like with fabric and things like that. And we actually made in the club. Let me show you. This is cute. Let me get that. So we made this in the DIY club. Aren't they cute? And we used um, the low temp um, hot glue and it made a, a, a big difference. So the club is a private membership. It opens July 1st. So get on the wait list. You can go to the blog and get on the wait list. Hey, Carolyn. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to iron my fabric a little. So I'm gonna use the blue. I have my cutting mat under here. I have my rotary cutter. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get, so I have this. This is my little mat. And like I said, I'm gonna use two different fabrics. If you wanna use one, you can use one. Okay. I love that, look at the denim. So I just think the bandanas, actually some of the ladies in the club actually made some of those heart uh, stars with the bandana. Um, it just has that like really cool look. Karen, you're not late to the party. We actually just started. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this fabric and this one with the stripes. This is not a flag. Please don't think I'm, I'm cutting up a flag. This is, I wish I had my thing. It's actually a bandana <laughs> that I got at either Michael's or Joanne. So please don't say that I'm cutting up a flag, because I'm not. They just really made it look like a flag, which I was very surprised. Um, okay, so let's iron out our little fabric here. 
only time I iron, ladies. <laughs> Who's with me? I think it was, I think when Bill and I met and I had like, um, you know, that wrinkle releaser. <laughs> that, that would be me. <laughs> I am not an ironing girl. And, and if you know my daughters, you would see that they are the same. <laughs> um, whoever came out with that downy wrinkle releaser was <laughs> brilliant. It was a woman, I bet. <laughs> hey, Betty. Oh, thanks, honey. Bill's sharing the, and it should be the link post, so you guys can get all the information about the club. You can get the blog. I just posted um, a blog or a video and a blog we did the project two years ago but it's such a classic look you can't beat it okay and then we're just gonna iron this one i'll just iron it on top it's no big deal hey sandra okay and the patriotic shirts just so that you'll get them in time this is obviously more of a fourth of july they are shipping purely quickly. You can shipping usually is only taking about three days, um, so it's only Tuesday. You might get it for the holiday, but if not, it's a July Fourth shirt. Um, or you know me, I just wear it all year long. <laughs> um, and so you you'll have it for that. And we usually just keep the patriotic probably somewhere in June. I'm not that. <laughs> Brenda's like, I'm not that girl either, right? <laughs> Who loves the iron? I think my friend Alexis, um, she loves the iron. She, she's the fabric queen. <laughs> um, okay. So let me move my puppy pad. Hey, Sylvia. All right. So you're going to do... Now, this is what we're making. Invite your friends. It's a little pinwheel um napkin holder and i'm gonna napkin ring not holder ring um so i'm gonna show you how we made that <clears throat> i made my square six by six if you want it slightly smaller like see how the back is i like it this big because i want people to see it um if it's sitting out but if you want something smaller just adjust your sizes for your fabric that's all you got to do my dryer, yes! <laughs> May I, I've been guilty of that too. Oh, here's a thing, which one, which, where did I iron, people? <laughs> I think it was right here. Um, yeah, I'm guilty of that too. <laughs> All right, so let me get, you're gonna do six by six. Okay, I'm gonna cut this in half. It's just gonna make it easier to work with where I don't have my measurements, so I'm okay with that. Oh, Dana has her shirt ordered. Oops. Oops. It's the only thing about this cutter. I'm just cutting it in half just because it's easier to work with. So, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Okay. I'm looking, who's that girl? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this one to the side. I'm trying to make sure I keep going to the iron side. It's right there. Okay. So now what we're going to do, and it really, I guess it doesn't matter because we're going to iron it a little more, but we're going to do six by six. So I'm just putting it against here. And I have my six up there. Can I see that? Hi, ladies. Popping on. Thank you. Okay. So we're going six by six. So with this fabric, you can get a lot. The cutter, um, you can get those at Joann's. Oh, you can wear it in Florida. I, they're going, they're 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 going really quick, I should say. Okay, so that's six, and now I'm gonna go six again.
and this one's probably so see that was good take it in half cut it in half it's about a 24 inch so you're gonna get um, about four of these out of each half so that's a lot so for two dollars and fifty cents it's not bad okay so that's what you got you've got your little square and then you're gonna take your other fabric same thing I'm gonna cut it I don't want to cut it I want to cut it I want the stripes I'm gonna cut it six oh Kim hopefully you're feeling okay Kim had surgery yesterday hope you're feeling better just lining this up thanks for hanging out with me this is going to be very inexpensive and um, a fun project to do oh you guys are so sweet if you're new here let us know you're new we have an amazing community of ladies um, that I'm super proud and we welcome you with open arms and if you have questions and I happen to miss them please ask it again I do try to go back and answer questions um, sometimes Bill is in the comments otherwise some of the other ladies help out I can't see that my comments getting posted but um, so I got something for you ladies we get the 300 viewers tonight she doesn't know hey. I'm sending happy mail I'm gonna pick one lucky viewer <laughs> And I'm going to send out happy mail. But we got to get to 300. We're at 157. We're we get to 300 there. viewers. 300 viewers. We're halfway there. Spread the honey. <laughs> I'm sending happy mail. And it might not even be craft related. Maybe it's the <laughs> biggest bag of Skittles you've ever seen. Maybe. So 300. Signed by Bill. <laughs> my comments not getting posted for some reason. Really? I didn't I've see had, it either. I posted it twice. And yeah, it's, really? not, it's not going up. Heather's like, Heather's on the countdown, 171. Thanks, ladies. All right, so <laughs> look at this. Yeah, it comes out of nowhere. Um, oh, Kim said, oh, lay in bed and watch crafting. There you go. There's there's your day. Okay, so you have your six by six, <laughs> six by six, all right? And then you're going to take your heat and bond. So if you're not familiar with heat and bond, basically it's an adhesive for fabric. It makes it super easy to work with. Um, trust me, don't be scared to use it. It's fine. Okay. So with the adhesive, those are six by six. Oh, look at you ladies go. <laughs> Signed bag of Skittles by Bill. <laughs> It might not be Skittles. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do, so it's six by six is the square. Um, I'm gonna do it slightly s less, um, just because I don't want it, the adhesive coming out from the sides. Spread the honey. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler and a pin for this one. And I'm just gonna, oops, let me do the other side. One side is rough, and that's what the adhesive is, and the other side is smooth. Yeah, that's like Skittles are good. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a little smaller. Let's see where I'm going to go. I don't mean to interrupt again, but I'm just curious. Where are we at? Somebody, somebody, Heather, Heather posted before. Somebody post right now how many viewers. Yeah, okay, I can tell just by yours. Look at yours. It's saying 174 viewers. Yeah. I'm showing, I was showing 159. Oh, see, That's I know. crazy. So we'll go by Carol's phone. Yes. 300, somebody's getting happy mail. And I'll pick a winner before we end. Got it? <laughs> All right, so I'm making this slightly smaller than the six by six. Thanks, Heather. Um, but this is super, so it, Actually, this is a good project. If you haven't worked with fabric before, you're working with such small pieces. This is a really, you guys are awesome. Um, this is a really easy project to do. Trust me, trust me, anybody can do this. Um, and if you do do it, I would love for you to share in our free group um, and inspire the other ladies 
to show them because that's what it's all about. So this is just regular scissors cutting it. So like I said, I got my iron on. Look at the heat mug, look how many projects. You can make napkin rings for your neighbors. <laughs> Spread lots of honey. Oh, thanks, Alice. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so heat mug, lots of projects with that. All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side. We're gonna do those napkin rings. Now we're gonna actually get the ring um, together. Oh, you ladies are pumping it. It's 195 right now. Um, oh, thank you, Kat. That's so sweet. So two six by six, some heat and bond. Let's put this to the side and work with your roll. Like I said, make your own candle um, rings make, or napkin rings. Make your own through clay or old ones. I had some old ones from Goodwill. Um, so there's a lot of them. Okay. I made mine. So this is what we're making. A few ladies just popping on. Um, about two inches. So I felt that that was a good, hold on, I dropped something. Ooh. Um, I felt that was a good width. So, all right, let me get about two inches. They don't have to be perfect. Um, Nicole, we're making pinwheel napkin rings for your patriotic entertaining. Yes, Debbie wants to know, is anybody from California? Okay. Don't worry about the edges because we're gonna clean those up, okay? I love them. Ohio's in the house, Kimberly says. Okay, so like I said, you're pretty much, if you want, you can go and kind of snip them up and clean it up just so you don't have any loose ends. Illinois, yes, Dana's in Illinois. Okay, so there's your napkin ring. We're gonna reinforce these. Oh, super, super cute. Good. I'm glad you guys like it. And bit, like I said, the um, bandana that we're using, I got from Hobby Lobby, was $2.50. So $2.50 for fabric, I think is a good deal. You get a lot of napkin rings. How wide? It was two inches. And this will be a blog post. Um, if you guys don't know, if you want to go to the blog at the pin post, go check out some other projects we've done. Um, not all the lives become a blog, but majority of them do. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna take, this is just burlap like ribbon, all right? Like you can do it a couple ways. I always try to give you options because go in your craft room and get crafty. You can do a uh, jute. So if you wanted to, we could do it that way where you're just gonna take the jute and you're gonna wrap it around your um, paper towel cardboard. Susan says, good morning. Sorry, my nose is running. Oh, I did not know. Marion said um, the dollar and a quarter store has them for a dollar and a quarter. <laughs> so you can go get bandanas. I don't know the material if it's really thin or thick, so go check those out and see. You can save um half okay so then all you're going to do is you're going to take your burlap and you're going to leave yourself a lip Mary okay. Lou asked, where do we post our projects in our free group so if you go to the pin post i tell you guys everything is in that pin post go to the blog go under communities and you'll see you'll see our cricket academy you'll see the sign up for the club and then you'll see the link to our free group um, which right now has over 6,000 ladies in there um, sharing their ideas. Okay. Right. I'm sorry. There's your and, lip. Uh, Terry said, St. Louis 4th of July baby here. Oh, I'm a 4th of July. That would get you excited. <laughs> I'm a 4th of July baby too. 
Okay, so then all you're gonna do is you're gonna leave yourself a lip and then you're going to figure out where you're going to cut your burlap so that it it overlaps. Kay said she thinks the bandanas at Hobby Lobby are 99 cents. Oh, well then I don't know. They're a little cheaper. This one, or maybe because it was extra large. That's the... Oh, probably. Maybe because this isn't like the smaller one. So right. again, use you don't need a lot. So use the fabric. Okay. So you're going to take and make sure that your um, juke covers. But if it doesn't, like I'm just shy, um, that's okay. The little cute little pinwheel that we're making is going to cover that. So, okay. So now what I got to do is... Get my puppy pan out. But thanks for hanging out. Can we get to 300? Who wants? Um, actually, we got the cute name. I think it was either Sonia. Yeah, it was Sonia. Um, she calls our mail honey mail. You're going to get some honey mail from us <laughs> if we can get to 300. Um, okay. And then, so I got a little lip there. And now I need my scissors and I'm going to do a little lip on the other side and ladies it's really easy to get there all you got to do is hit that button at the bottom that says s-h-a-r-e <laughs> you hit that button we don't have to sustain 300 we just want to get the 300 300 <laughs> and you get honey mail from me i'm gonna i'm physically gonna pick it out somewhere from behind here probably <laughs> no, i'm kidding i'm kidding and it won't be from my garage or our food pantry or our refrigerator <laughs> i promise so Oh, see, Susan said perfect. She's going to make these for her 4th of July table. I think they're super cute. I really do. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have a love, like, dislike, I don't want to use the other word, of this. So, one, see that little black dot? <laughs> make sure it's facing down. Um, if you've been here for a while, <laughs> you guys know um, and I think Lizzie did it too, um, which Lizzie, by the way, has a new page, uh, not today by Lizzie. Um, but anyway, <laughs> she got it in her hair. I got it in my hair and, um, this is incredibly hard to get out of your hair. So make sure that little black dot is facing down. I don't do a lot of projects with it for that reason. <laughs> uh, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our spray adhesive. There's your burlap. This is just to give it extra hold. I do have my glue gun ready to go. Um, hey, Athea, nice to see you. Okay, oopsie. It's a love hate. It gets on your fingers. All right, then you're just going to take your napkin ring and you're going to wrap it on there. It just gives it... Ugh, I hate that stuff. I'm not a fan, but... It does the job. It literally adheres to your, you can, I like it just because this, you know, when you're sticking the napkin in, I just want to make sure that my juke doesn't go anywhere. But I'm telling you ladies, this stuff is not. <laughs> Good morning, Debbie. Debbie, where are you that it's morning? Are you in California? You're on the West Coast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is not a dual purpose hairspray. No, not at all. <laughs> At least I didn't even realize I did it for the longest time. It was probably, oh, I got the biggest bug on my window. Um, it was like three weeks of what is in my hair. Like I would wash and wash and wash and wash. And then I think I was doing a project and I was like, that's what it is. Like I literally must have sprayed it. Thank goodness it didn't get in my eye, but still. Catherine loves it. Oh, you're in Washington State. Welcome. Okay, so we just use it. We put it away. <laughs> don't um. We don't. We don't mess with that. <laughs> Colleen, it leaves like this, like residue. It's just nasty. <laughs> All right, so that's what you got so far. Okay, then to give like that edge. Okay, what I like, you could put it down, or if you want to make it even easier, you can just put a few snips. You're not cutting the cardboard, you're cutting the jute, okay? Just putting a couple snips on your lip, all right? So you got that lip in there. See the lip, see the cardboard, and see the burlap. Dorothy's in Arizona. 
We're hoping to make it out to Arizona. Bill's sister lives there. Okay, so then I've got my low temp hot glue gun. If you have high temp, please be careful. I, I started using this low temp and I'm telling you, I really like, oh my gosh, 211. Yeah, that's a good idea, Alice. That is a very good idea. Alice said, put some uh, safety glasses on. Yep. <laughs> you can tell how new it was. I didn't realize it had a little, <laughs> little thing. But you don't burn yourself. Thanks, guys. Darla, Florida in the house. We're in Florida, Darla. I'm going to invest, though. I wanted to try it out first. Um, I'm not a fan of these minis, so I might get a bigger one. Yeah, those, he's on here. He's watching. We're 2, 212. Okay. But see how it cleans it up? All right? So it just gives it a clean edge. Thank you, Denise. The shirt is in the market. So if you go to the pin post, um, you can go to the market or go to the blog and get to the market. Either way. Okay. So now we're just putting this down and a hairnet. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. You guys, that was probably the worst experience in the crafting world for sure for me. Like I was like, what is going on? All right, low temp. <gasps> nice. See, Becky likes the mini. What do you guys like? Do you guys like the mini? Oh yeah, it jumps, Linda. It's like constant. Like now mine says 202. I just have to see 300. That's all I gotta do. Does it hold as well? You know, this is a project um, that I'm, again, it's not something I'm really going to, you know, if I don't make it till next year, I'm okay with. Um, but I don't see why not. I don't see why it wouldn't. I know we all got used to the hot one, but I'm telling you, there's no way I would have been able to stick my fingers without burning it. So if you do have a hot glue gun, my disclaimer is obviously, this is my fake finger, but these little protectors, you can get them at Dollar Tree. Um, use those. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, see, there's a few of you that like the minis. Lori said, I started with the mini. And then something. Change the it, have one. Yeah, this one's dual. Oh, Darla, you're in, a, you're in our neighborhood. You're in Wildwood. I like the mini. I started one of the bigger one. Oh, welcome, Lori. Um, Lori's from new from New Jersey. Pat's new. All right, so that's what we got. There we go. <laughs> uh, you like both. Yeah, see, I have the Beast, which is the Ryobi. And the reason I love the Ryobi is I love its cordless. I love its cordless. I have the mini Ryobi, and I'm, I'm, it's okay, it has little glitches, um, and then I got this one, but this one's a low temp, and I could have sworn the Ryobi came with a low temp, and I thought I ordered it, but it's never come, so if you go on their website, it shows there is one, but I did never received mine. Tammy asked, uh, where do I find the free group? Oh, just go to the pin post. Where it says, at the bottom, ladies, it says, find all information on Be Inspired? Yep. After the live, you just click that because we're trying to get the 300. Um, after the live, click that and it'll take you to um, the information that you need. Yep. You can get the shirts there. You can check out the blog post. There's a lot of other fun crafts on there. Yep. And Absolutely. Ashlyn said, uh, um, welcome to all the newbies. Dana said, welcome all to all the newbies. But oh, the numbers nice. keep going down. They need to go <laughs> up. So they get honey mail. Honey from mail. Bill. Um, Oh, this was another idea I had for the for the napkin ring. So like I said, you can use, this is burlap ribbon. You can use jute. Or if you want to take your fabric and you want to cut it up in strips and kind of keep it. Oops, there went my lights. Alrighty. <laughs> um, you can wrap fabric around this and like do little strips or just cut the fabric and wrap it. So there's different ways. 
there's different ways. It's not too dark, right? We're, we're good. You guys are good. I can plug it in. Glad you caught me. Yay. All right. You guys get that number up. I'm going to go plug in my lights real quick. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. Just one at least. See if this light goes on. Hmm. Thanks for the stars. What is this thing doing? Hold on. Hold on. There's always something. There we go. Okay. All right. Much better. <laughs> okay. Let's make this pinwheel. So what you're gonna do? This is your heat and bond. This is your two um, pieces of fabric. There is a rough side and a paper side. You're going to pick one side and you're going to just put your heat and bond on here. You're going to take your iron and you're going to iron it. Aw, oh, thank you, Sylvia. I hope you guys are having fun here. I really do. That's what this is all about. Okay, so what you're doing is you're taking your heat and bond and you're putting it on your fabric so that we can fuse them together. You're going to wait a little bit, and then what happens is the shiny side, see that little glare? The shiny side stays on your fabric, all right? You can see it. It's like plasticky, and then this comes off. Like I said, if you've never worked with fabric or you've never worked with heat and bond, this is a really cool project. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your other fabric, you're going to lay it on top, just line it up, and you can always clean up the edges later. Okay, it's not activated until you iron it. So you can move it around, It does. it's not like it's sticky. I guess that's the best way to put it. Okay. And then you iron. Thanks for hanging out. Simple, who's gonna do this? Who is going to do this? Okay, so you just, I'm basically fusing those two fabrics together. All right, so I got Stripes on one side and my um, denim on the other one. Okay, and that's it. And those are fused together. Now, if you want to clean up, see how I have like the edges? So I'm going to clean that up before I start doing it. Oh, I'm so glad, Bitsy. Okay, so let's just clean up these edges. Uh, it's, it's um, heat and bond, ultra cold, cold heat and bond. You can get it on Amazon or you can get it at like Michael's or, well, actually Joanne's I got it from. Okay. So just clean up your edges. this one up a little, not much. Okay, there you go. Easy peasy. So odd, not our clothes. <clears throat> I didn't see what that says. Okay, so see how you got your two little fabrics? And then what you're gonna do is, let me go get my 
little mat back. Yes, I just saw that. That's an amazing idea. Yes, how fun. You could do this with any fabric. Christmas. Oh my gosh, this would be cute. Because um, I think like the pinwheels um, kind of look like poinsettias and stuff too, in a way. But they're just super fun. They're super fun. Okay, um, Dory just joining the party. Um, okay, so what we got to do is, all right, oop. It did that Dory, you're quick. never late. You're just in time. Just in time. I didn't, I went too fast. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're just going to take, I don't want to use my ruler. I like using my, my bigger one. All right, so you have your square. You're going to take anything. You could take, um, you can take your ruler, but I'm going to take my little mat and you're going corner to corner. That's all you're doing. Okay. Like I said, super cute idea. Oh, good. Oh, like uh, thanks, Bill. Ladies, we are so close. We are at like 2.30. It really just needed one more S-H-A-R-E. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Um, one more push. Yes. So you're going to take, so in your head, kind of eyeball where your center is. You're going to take your rotor cutter, and you're just going to go to the center, but you're not going to go all the way to the center. You're just going to hit, you're going to get it right there, okay? And then you're going to go from the center, you're going to leave like a hole, like a button. Um, and then you're going to cut the other corner, okay? You just want to make sure, and then you can lift your fabric to kind of see, did you cut far enough, which I did. And then you're going to turn it to the other side, and you're going to do that same thing for your other corner. Bill's stomach is good. No, stomach. Stomach. I'm a little hungry. I'm oh, 220. Hungry. 220. We were at 230 before, though. Thank you. 230, and it was one push. One push. Okay. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just cutting it, but I'm going not all the way. All right? And then I'm finding, like, my center, like, eyeballing it, and then doing it. Ladies, I already have the name picked out, just so you know. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yep. So, this is what you're left with, all right, to kind of give you a visual. So cool. All right, so you've got your, um, your X's, but you don't have them cut. <laughs> Dana needs lunch. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Carol. So then what you want to do is you kind of want to figure out, are you bringing in the blue? Okay, because it's two different looks when you use two different fabrics. Are we going with the blue? And the stripes like that so it's gonna look like a pinwheel or this way like that oh, I think we're gonna do that or you could go the other way and you can have the blue background with the red stripes but I think I like the red stripes so do you see what I'm doing before you start gluing or doing anything make sure you know kind of what look you want and you can mix and match and do everything it's just it's it's a fun fun little add-on to your barbecue okay so i'm gonna take so i'm taking one of my corners putting a dab of glue in the center and then i'm holding it but i'm not creasing it Oops, it's a little hotter than i like said she likes the first way better. yes i agree that's the way we're doing. So you're taking that tip and you're moving it to the center. Okay? Just like that. Then you're going to go to your other triangle and you're going to come and you're going to do the center on that one. Right? Hold on. Let me see. Yes. The center on that one. Same thing. I see all the hearts. Okay. Then we're going to go to this corner. So see how you're leaving? Can you guys see that? You're leaving these like little flaps. Carol Blues wants to know where your fake finger is. Yeah, right here, Carol. <laughs> all 
right there. <laughs> Oops, hold it down. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Guys. Okay, and then we're going to do this one. Okay, so same thing. Put your glue. Put your little fake finger in there. Look how cute these are. You guys, they love it. Yay. Like I said, you can use your stash. Okay, did I, have loot? Did I put it maybe on hot? It's dual temp. Okay, cute, cute. Look how cute that is. Look how cute that is. I love that. But your middle looks a little janky. So I didn't grab them, which I'm kind of glad I did it. They have like metal stars. If you go into the scrapbook, oh, we're 250, ladies. We're almost there. Um, One more push. If you go to the scrapbook section, Tim Holtz has a lot of like metal embellishments would, would look really cool on this. I would rather have that than the Dollar Tree one, but I'm okay with it. Um, and I'm using what I have and it's only a dollar, so I'm good with it. Plus it's got little sparkles in it. So I'm gonna take a little red. They only said you can make garland that way. Yes, absolutely. You can hang that. What other ideas? Oh, Linda said I'm making it good. All right, so let's see. Do we want blue, white, blue? Mm -hmm. I don't think the blue. It's either the white or the red. I can't decide. Small piece of blue material. Yes, around it. Oh, that would be cute too. Oh, that's a cute idea. Becky said you could take like your burlap and if you wanted to, you could wrap. Oh, that's cute. You could take like material and wrap that. Try the white. Okay, so that's the white or the red. I think the red pops. I think the red pops. I had the white on the other one, so I'm gonna do red on this one. Okay. So then just take your hot glue, cover up that little mess in the center. Yeah, Dory, I agree. Trish loves them. Yay. Okay. Let me get my perfect. Okay. And then all you're going to do is you're going to find where your seam was. And then once this is down, you're going to take, flip it over, find your middle first, find your seam, and put it down like that. And then hold it. Thanks for all the hearts. So close, ladies. 247. <laughs> I appreciate you hanging out. Thank you for all the stars. Okay, and then once you have it on there, then you can go in here and you can lay your um, another bead of glue just to get it um, more secure. <laughs> 242, yes. Oh, thanks for the hearts, guys. Okay. Glue a skewer to them. You could do that, make a look, look how cute. Okay, so there's your little napkin ring. How cute. Get the strings off. Let me take these off for a second. Get the little strings off. Don't put your heat gun too close to that, um, that little styrofoam. What was I doing? What was I doing? I forgot what I was gonna do. But you guys can see, I forgot completely what I was going to do. <laughs> oh, I was going to put a napkin in them. <laughs> God, ladies, I would forget my head is attached. Okay, so let's just assume you could get more bandanas if you wanted and use those as your napkins. So let's see how it looks. Let's do the red. Let's do the red one. What other ideas? Ask them. They're coming up with stuff. Are you guys coming up with uh, what other ideas? 
ideas what to do with the little pinwheels? Oh, thanks, Nettie. So take your, um, add a stick in there. Oh, and put in a vase. That's a good idea. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your napkins. And you're going to pull them. Like, this is obviously too too big of a napkin. But look how cute. What's the count? 240. I'm going to put mine in a dough bowl. Oh, that's a cute idea, Sylvia. Yes, what are some ideas? Perfect. Dough bowl, we had vase. You had uh, make it into a garland. Um, so many ideas. So many ideas. But put your napkin on here. How cute would that be? Again, this is really big, so don't, you know. But how cute would that be? You just basically... Um, well, like I said, if you wanted to just assume this is a napkin, the white might pop better. I don't have any, but you guys get the idea. Super cute. So cute. Put it, oh, in a tree. So if you're one that does the tree where you do like changing out for the holidays, you could definitely do that. Definitely. And cut this off a little. Simply beautiful. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys had fun. Elsie, Patsy said she would put hers in a wreath. Once you know how to make these, there's so many things that you could do with them. So have fun with them. Play with fabric. Play with different colors. Um, play with different ideas. And it's so fun. What, it's about, so fun. Uh, what if somebody's birthday was July 4th and you put it as a bow for a birthday gift? <laughs> That too. Yes. That yes. would work. That would or, work too. Yeah, or a bag. ribbon in your hair. Yep. You could do oh, it on a clip, a clip. Like one of your clips in you your hair. You can make the well, maybe square just, maybe, smaller. Maybe in the back, <laughs> not like on the side, like not there, but yeah. A bow, a bow. for your shirt. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> Ornaments. Sorry to leave. Uh, but the ladies, it's described. dropping down. Okay, Heather. We're going to right. try we're gonna try the 300 again tomorrow. Yes, we will. Um, so thank you, everybody. Um, for spreading the honey. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for hanging out. Um, yes, cute for a ponytail. So I'm so glad. The smile on my face shows it. Um, this was a fun craft. <laughs> Say bye. Bye, ladies. <laughs> um, this was a fun craft. I hope you guys are inspired to go make one um, for yourself. And um, it was just fun. Sandra just said, fun what size was your square? Six by six. So watch the replay. I gave you all the measurements, all everything. Um, go check out all the uh, blog posts. We did this project yesterday. So go watch this one from Com yesterday. And comment replay yes. if you watched it. Comment replay yep. so we know you watched it. Perfect. 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 Okay, ladies. I will see you guys uh, probably tomorrow. So have a good rest of your day. All right? Bye, guys.